Okay, so we have a column of mercury, 0.76 meters tall, and it's going to have a pressure at the bottom of the column, correct? The question is this. If this is the pressure of a fluid based on the density of the fluid times G times H, and the, the height of the mercury column is 0.76, what height of a water column will have the same pressure? What height of a water column will have, a, have the same pressure? Is it recording? Yes. Anybody have a clue? Well, what would be the pressure of a column of mercury that's 0.76 meters tall? And how would you get it? Yes? Um, well, it would be 103,208, and you do that by doing the density of mercury times 10 times... So, six. the pressure of the mercury... Which is... Um, 13,580 times 10. And then times the height. What's that going to equal now? Um, 103,208. What is it? 100? 208? Yep. And what would that be in? Pascals? Correct? So far so good? Now, how big of a column of water will give you the same pressure? So what are you solving for now? The height of the liquid, right? So, you're solving for H, we have P equals density GH, H will be the pressure, right? Pressure divided by density times G, which is 103,208 Pascals, correct? over what's the density of what? What do I use for the density? No, because I want the column contains water, not mercury, right? So it's a thousand, right? A thousand times ten. And what's that going to equal? Anybody? What's that going to equal? What is 103,208 divided by 10,000? 10.3. So, 0.76 meters of mercury, the equivalency is 10.3 meters. Very important when you do your reading. Why? It, what is the significance of 0.76 meters of mercury? What's the significance of that? Well, that's one atmosphere of pressure. Is 0.76 meters or 760 millimeters of mercury? Remember from last year from chemistry? That's the pressure of one atmosphere. And if I had, that's what, what's that, what type of instrument is that called that measures the pre pressure of the atmosphere? A barometer. a barometer. So if the barometer is made of mercury, if a barometer is made of mercury, then the height would be around 0.76 meters or 760 millimeters. If the barometer were made of water, it would be 10.3 meters very significant. And when we have our discussions of this, that will be very important. Clear? Yes? All right, now, 
Any questions? Now, because those didn't record, let's let's do let's do no. We're not going to do them. All. We're going to use different numbers. See if you can come up with the actual answers. Okay. All right. All right. We have we have a metal. Give me a metal. Silver. Silver. silver? What's the density of silver? What is it? 10,490. 10, That's the density of silver? Yeah. 10,490. Okay, kilograms per cubic centimeter. All right? Let's say we have let's say we have a volume of silver equivalent to 0.03 cubic meters. Okay? 0.03 cubic meters. I want to know, I want to know the, the weight of that silver. I want to know the apparent weight of the silver. And I want to know the mass of the silver. Okay? I want to know all three. Okay? Yes? What's the mass of the silver? How would you find that? The mass of the silver. All right, right here. What's the mass of that silver? How would I find that? So I know that density equals mass over volume. Mass equals density times volume. Correct? So what is um, 10,490 times 0 0.03? What is it? So the mass will be 10,490, correct? Mm -hmm. Kilograms per cubic meter times 0.03. What's that going to be? What's the mass? 314. Is that the bell? 314. All right, we'll pick it up tomorrow or the next day. Have a great day, guys.